The high Atlas Mountains of Morocco, the tallest in North Africa, formed millions of years ago when the land masses of Europe and Africa collided. Near their highest point lies the Tizian Tichka Pass, renowned for its tight hairpin turns and breathtaking views. Once considered one of the world's most dangerous roads, recent safety upgrades have improved it significantly. But is it still a risky drive, or simply one of the most exhilarating? We're Chris and Lydia. Join us as we find out for ourselves. Good morning from our rooftop terrace in our Casbah Hotel, just outside of Eight Ben Hadou in Morocco. Good morning, the eyes are just open. I've been up since 4.30, but not, we just couldn't sleep. But um, we thought we may as well watch the sunrise. From our apartment balcony or rooftop terrace. Rooftop terrace, mm -hmm. yeah. And it's just coming over and setting, a, it's rising. Behind me here, we're heading off to Marrakesh today. And, um, yeah, so this is the start of a new day. So come and see what we get up to today. What a spread. Having my omelette, beautiful pancakes, and Lydia's got gluten free crepes, and a bowl of coffee. Show me how you drink it, Lily. <laughs> Look at that view behind you, can you just pinch yourself for a moment? <laughs> After a hearty breakfast at our magnificent Casbar accommodation, we boarded the bus and set off on the road to Marrakesh. Today's journey follows the historic path once travelled by caravan traders, heading north over the high Atlas Mountains via the famous Tizian Tichka Pass. As we leave the arid desert plains behind, the towering peaks of the High Atlas Mountains gradually come into view. It's sunny down here, but up in the mountains, the clouds are beginning to gather. Climbing higher, the air grows cooler and the clouds settle in around us. Our Moroccan guide, Ilias, provides the insightful commentary. So it's the most spectacular road of North Africa. It's like our Alps. And there is a great view, but it's invisible now. Sorry. <laughs> what happened to the sunshine? It's freezing. Uh, it is pretty cold. I reckon it's maybe five degrees. Oh, yeah. I'd like to wish for that. Going for a panoramic view. Probably of white cloud, but maybe we'll see something. Whoa. It would be nice on a clear day.
That's the way back down the mountain. On a clear day, the view must be spectacular. But with the weather beyond our control, it's time to begin our descent. The Tizi and Tichka Pass is one of the most famous roads in Morocco. It zigzags its way up over 2200 metres above sea level, making it the highest paved road in North Africa. Stretching 54 kilometres, the pass was originally constructed in 1936 by the French army to connect the imperial city of Marrakesh with Ouazazet and the desert regions south of the High Atlas Mountains. At one time, the Tizi and Tichka Pass was considered one of the most dangerous roads in the world, with its tight hairpin turns, steep descents and high elevations. However, recent upgrades over the past few years have widened the road, removed some of the tightest turns and added more guardrails, seemingly making it safer for travellers. Still, the drive remains hair-raising and the risk of rock falls is real, as we were soon to discover. After crossing the highest parts of the pass, we followed the winding course of the Tichka River through beautiful valleys, which grew increasingly green as we headed north. But our journey through the pass wasn't over yet. Before long, we began climbing once more, ascending back into the clouds. As the road narrowed and visibility decreased, the drive became more unnerving, especially in a large bus. I could only imagine the steep drop hidden by the clouds on the other side of the barrier and found myself pressing an imaginary brake pedal with every bend. In the end, I realised it was easier if I just didn't look around too much. And just like that, the terrain flattened and we had crossed the pass. Was it a dangerous drive? For the most part, I'd say no. The road surface was in good condition and the recent upgrades have greatly improved its safety. On a clear sunny day, you'd have no trouble at all. Still, it can be a challenging drive. As we found out, the weather at the top can be unpredictable with the high elevations bringing fog, rain or even snow. Rain can loosen rocks along the cliffs, leading to rock slides. Plus, as the main route south to the desert, the road is often busy. Local drivers are known to drive quickly, and large trucks also use the route. So, it's important to exercise caution, drive to the conditions, take your time, and soak in the incredible views. Even on a foggy day, the experience is absolutely worth it.
The TZ and Tichka Pass took us just over two hours to drive, so by the time we reached the other side, we were more than ready for lunch. Luckily, Ilias had called in a few favours, and soon we were pulling up to a farmhouse for an incredible home-cooked meal. So this yes. we call it pizza. pizza. So there is chicken, there is eggs, there is curry, lentils, onion, and uh, pancake, but not the morning one. This one it's made special and it has to be thin. Yeah. The lunch of Rafisa was exceptional, as was the Moroccan hospitality. We're so grateful to the Moroccan family who welcomed us into their farmhouse for this delicious meal. With full bellies and warm hearts, we had just a short 45-minute drive ahead of us before reaching the bustling city of Marrakesh. After being dropped off on the edge of the old town, our kind porters wheeled our bags through the winding alleys to our Riyadh, perfectly situated in the heart of Marrakesh's old Medina. Following the customary mint tea welcome, we took some time to explore. The Riyadh's design is traditional, featuring a communal central courtyard area for relaxing and dining, ringed by bedrooms on the upper level. In classic Riyadh style, the room has no windows to the street, but instead the windows face inward to overlook the central courtyard. After a brief rest, we decided to venture out and get our first taste of bustling Marrakesh. Welcome to the chaos of Main Square, Jamaa Elfna. Looking for somewhere now that we can sit and watch life go by here on a Saturday night. Marrakesh, maybe have a, some food and a drink. like the very civilized place to watch the sunset. Our first sunset in Marrakesh is looking to be a good one. 
It's a little bit of cloud cover and the colours are just amazing for this rooftop restaurant. This is crazy. Thank you for joining us today on the road to Marrakesh across the TZ and Tichka Pass. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to join our roving family and drop us a comment to let us know where you're watching from. We really enjoy hearing from you. We hope to see you next time as we explore the vibrant sights and sounds, smells and tastes of Marrakesh. Bye for now.